My name is Nell Green. I serve with the Internationals Cluster of the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship. I want to thank you for taking a few moments to watch this introductory video to the webinars that our team of field personnel and others are now offering. Now, some years ago, Richard Bailey with Christ Star wrote an article, Who's Turning the Mission Field Upside Down? Bailey discussed how globalization has affected not only mission strategy, but how it has affected the local church. My husband Butch and I were commissioned as field personnel over 22 years ago. Over time, as we would come home from the field, we couldn't help but notice how home had changed. We would go through airports and malls to discover that the people we were reaching across an ocean were right here in North America. Who's turning the mission field upside down? God is. There's a new reality in missions, a new learning curve, a new paradigm. The reality is that field personnel are no longer the only ones best poised to join God in this new topsy-turvy mission field. You are the church. Today, it's not only the major urban areas where we hear virtually every language in the world. It's in our small cities and towns. No longer are field personnel the church's window to other cultures. We encounter other cultures right here. Internationals go to school with our children. They run the grocery store on the corner or the little motel on the interstate. They own the local radio station. There are patients, our doctors, our nurses. Our North American world of missions has turned upside down. What in the world is God thinking? Well, we know that God never changes, but God does move with the times. While his ultimate purpose of calling people to himself has not changed, he is accomplishing it in new ways. In 1997, the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship began to respond to this new day with the formation of the International's Cluster. Our team of field personnel realized that if we were going to ask the church to become the missionary to this new mission field, then we needed to be available to help churches and individuals learn the same skills that we've learned over the years. And that's the purpose of these webinars. We would like to provide you with training that will help equip you for this new day in missions. We're offering seminars on Islam, on discipleship of internationals, on these changing paradigms and missions, on social justice, on different aspects of ministry to the Latino community. We also have quite a few seminars in Spanish for Hispanic congregations, as well as a few that can be offered in French. But that's not all. For those who are members of the International's Cluster Network, which now has well over 300 churches who are participating, we are providing ways that you can help each other online with roundtable discussions, prayer groups, discussion forums on a variety of subjects, as well as consulting with others. I hope you'll take the time to go to www.cbfinternationals.org and look at the different webinars that are being offered. Let us know which ones you're interested in, either for yourself or your church or another individual. I would like to leave you with the scripture that Richard Bailey quoted in his article. Acts chapter 17 verses 26 and 27 read, From one man he made every nation of men, that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he determined the times set for them and the exact places where they should live. God did this so that men would seek him and perhaps reach out for him, or as some versions say, grope for him and find him. For indeed, he is not far from each one of us. You no longer have to cross an ocean to be the presence of Christ amongst the unreached. Who's turning the mission field upside down? God is. Let's not miss what God is doing today. We look forward to hearing from you and we pray for God's blessing upon each one of you 
as you minister to the nations.